Hey everyone, what's going on? Tommy's unavailable for this episode. Snow's right next to me. We're on our way to the studio, but we're gonna be late all the way from here to there. There's only one way to do this, and there's only one way to get there. What's well, top level media, guys? So we have some stuff that's going on that's trending in the news right now on TMZ. So let's talk about Lori Lofton and Becky is in still some serious trouble. Lori Lofton and her husband say the government has withheld evidence to clear her innocence of the whole college scam. Lori and her husband cl claim the U.S. attorney withheld evidence showing they gave money to USC. Unaware of any $5,000 was used to bribe the university officials. So, so the prosecutors are getting nasty now to where Lori withheld information in interviews that the government has board powers over, but they do not include mental telepathy or time travel. Government cannot disclose before the witness makes them. So she is in some serious hot water right now still with the whole USC thing. And um, what are your thoughts about Lori being in trouble? Um, not only that, Swagger is dead at the age of six. So Swagger has passed away. He's the mascot of the Cleveland Browns. So moving on, we also have Lori Harvey. Lori Harvey is the daughter of Steve Harvey, and so basically TMZ did catch up to her the other day at LAX, and they were talking to Lori. The camera guy did ask her a couple questions about dating feature of Steve Harvey is pretty um, protective of his daughter, and of course. So, uh, in Kobe Bryant's death about the helicopter, um, basically, um, TMZ did report and uh, did find out that there was no engine failure with the helicopter. So, um, and my last report would have to be about Kirk Douglas has passed away Wednesday morning. And um, basically, if you don't know who Kirk Douglas is, well... He's been around for a very long time, and not only that, he has a long list of a lot of movies and nomination and awards. So, uh, yes, rip to Kirk Douglas, who passed away at the age of 103. So that's my news for you. My name is Chris. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And not only that, what you could do is uh, like, and subscribe and not only that push that notification bell when um, we upload you get something and you can watch it right away so uh, until then stay tuned for news tunes and reviews and we'll see you later